Yes, kind of. So there is a new AI model from China that's taking the world by storm. The DeepSeek R1 is a reasoning model similar to OpenAI O1, but better. In fact, it only took them less than $6 million to train the model compared to billions spent by OpenAI. And yet it is on par with O1, which right now is only available for pro users. But DeepSeek R1 is free and it scores higher than most AI models. So it begs the question, does DeepSeek R1 produce better content than ChatGPT? Does it sound more human? Well, join me because today we are going to answer these questions by performing some tests. For the test, I'm going to produce 10 pieces of content with Harry's prompts, 5 using DeepSeek R1 and another 5 using OpenAI O1. I'm going to be using the same prompt, both can access the internet and I'm running the models on perplexity because it happens to offer O1 and R1. Also, I don't want to pay some Altman $200 to access O1. And for the evaluator, I'm using undetectable AI to see if the content feels more human or not, and I will share my opinions about the responses. By the way, every prompt I use for the testing will be available in the video description, so be sure to check it out. With that being said, let's go with the test. Okay, since both AIs are reasoning models, let's try a difficult topic that requires some problem-solving skill. For the first prompt, I'm asking the AI to help someone that's locked in a bathroom with no help from outside and the only tool at hand is a chopstick. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, that scenario will never happen. Well, first of all, I just want to see if the AI can figure out a way to solve the problem. After all, both O1 and R1 are reasoning models that are meant for solving a problem. And secondly, I have been accidentally locked in a bathroom and I was able to get out with just a chopstick. That was a bizarre scenario, but it did happen to me. And I know that it can be solved with just a chopstick. Now, I'm not really expecting 100% accurate answer that is similar to my experience. But if the AI can suggest some reasonable ideas, then I'm happy with it. And so, after reading the results, they gave me similar answers. OpenAI takes a rigid step-by-step -step approach, while DeepSeek R1 feels more friendly and personal, which is the tone that I'm asking for. Given that the goal is to create a blog post based on the topic of someone that is locked in a bathroom and the only way to get out is by using a chopstick, then I think DeepSeek R1 produced much better content than OpenAI O1. So let's move on to the next challenge. On the second challenge, I asked these AIs to tell the story of how a watch saved Apollo 13 astronauts. This is a real story where there was an explosion in the surface module that crippled the spacecraft and knocked its trajectory. There is no computer, so they have to manually time the engines with the watch worn by one of the astronauts. It's really an interesting story. Both models answered very well, but I like DeepSeek R1 more because it provides some commentary and trivia from the astronauts, whereas OpenAI R1 is just try telling the story. Again, the story presented by DeepSeek feels more engaging and enjoyable to read. For the next test, both AIs are tasked to help someone who just built a web application and wants to store sensitive information like API and database passwords safely. However, the person only knows JavaScript which is a front-end programming language, while storing sensitive information is happening in the back-end. I let O1 and R1 to answer this technical question and it only took them a minute to solve. I read answers from both models and I can confidently say that DeepSeek R1 is giving the best answer. It is providing multiple solutions, pros and cons of each solution, and actionable tips that someone can follow right away. Whereas OpenAI O1 is ambiguous. It doesn't show the answer properly and instead of answering, it's just leaving you with even more questions. I would bet that DeepSeek R1 is going to be more popular in the future among the developers and programmers. Now, on to the next test. This challenge will test whether AI can understand the cultural nuance. So I provide them with an Indonesian proverb that the AI has to find an English version of the proverb or idiom. The proverb is basically you can't see an elephant in front of you, but you can see a little ant across the ocean. This is a challenging task because not everything, especially complex ideas, can be easily translated to a different language. But both DeepSeek and OpenAI did a fantastic job at finding a similar proverb. Both 
someone else are referencing the same verses from the Bible which feels relevant to Indonesian proverb. At least the idea is somewhat the same. But when it comes to the output quality, then DeepSeek is winning again. The article offers more variety and alternatives like pot versus cattle, which means that someone is criticizing another person for a fault that they themselves have. Essentially, it's just an expression that's describing a person that's being a hypocrite. And speaking about being a hypocrite, the next test is I want to know who is right, DeepSeek or OpenAI. DeepSeek got a lot of attention because it only cost them 5.6 million to develop R1 compared to billions spent by OpenAI to build O1. With that discrepancy, OpenAI accuses DeepSeek of stealing data from OpenAI to train its model. Yeah, there is another Indonesian proverb to describe that. But anyway, I asked both models to do some research and tell me who is right and who is wrong. OpenAI is just giving me a very ambiguous answer that basically goes like this. Yeah, it is a claim that they made and there is a proof, but OpenAI is also criticized for using copyrighted materials, for training data, etc. It's not true or false answer, it is just the typical ambiguous ChatGPT answer. But DeepSeek is bolder. It is just straight telling me, no, it is false, OpenAI is hypocrite. And I actually like the answer for R1 a lot more than O1. It sounds like someone is defending their argument or position, and that's actually the kind of answer that I wanna see from these AIs. Now, honestly, I don't know whether or not DeepSeek stole data from OpenAI. It is still debatable, but it is possible that DeepSeek R1 was made by stealing OpenAI data. But regardless, I prefer the answer from R1 a lot more because it's presenting some evidence and arguments, whereas OpenAI AI's answer is fuzzy. Okay, now how about the AI detector score? Which AI model produced more human content? Well, based on my test, OpenAI scores 14.5 out of 30, while DeepSeek R1 scores 15. So it is 14.5 versus 15. But if I'm being honest, I don't believe with this score. It is a score when an AI is tasked to evaluate another AI, which I have mentioned many times on my previous videos, the score is not going to be accurate. Why not accurate? Because it is basically Turing test and there is no AI today that passed Turing test. So take the score with a grain of salt. But in my opinion, after reading content from both models, it's safe to say that DeepSeek R1 is winning this challenge. It uses more vocabulary, it's clear, it understands the request really well, and it is open source, which OpenAI is not. And ironic, right? So what do you think about DeepSeek R1? Have you used it? Is it better than ChatGPT? Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. And if you are a content marketer, then check out this video where I explain of why perplexity is the best AI writer tool. Click the video and I'll see you there.